Hello, and here we are hanging out in our Other People's Garden segment. And here today we're going to talk to Roxanne about her beautiful garden at her house. First of all, when we first pulled up, the biggest thing that I noticed was your incredible use of space. So tell me how, how this all came to be. How did you design this, and what gave you the idea to just maximize on the space that you have? Um, so, first of all, the only place that I have sun is my front yard. Mm -hmm. The whole backyard is shaded by these big oak trees. Um, so when we bought this house a few years ago, I knew I wanted to have a garden. Um, and I started with just two 4x4 four four boxes. Mm -hmm. And I had, w growing up I had watched, um, I think it was on public television, Square Foot Gardening. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of remembered that. I had an old book that my dad had given me. Um, and so I used the square foot gardening method for those two 4x4 four four boxes. Um, so it's just a way to maximize small spaces. It is so packed in and everything is just has its own little spot. And I mean, I, I, this is a fantastic use of space. Did you have to do any research on companion planting and learning about what can grow with what and what next to what? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've definitely used Google many times during <laughs> yes, my gardening you. career. Um, so yeah, I try to do companion planting. I also rotate boxes, try to rotate boxes every year. Um, but I still make mistakes. Like I didn't know you're not supposed to plant corn and tomatoes nearby mm -hmm. because they share worms. Yes. And so now my tomatoes have worms. <laughs> Live and learn though, yeah, right? right? Yep, yep, that's how the process goes. Um, and then your flowers. Um, you've got tons of varieties out here. I think the sunflowers probably catch most people's attention as they drive by. What's your favorite one that you've got so far? I mean, of course I love the sunflowers. I love zinnias because they are just super cheerful. They come in so many different colors mm -hmm. and they're really low maintenance. They're really easy to grow. Um, so I, I would say my favorite flower that I always make sure to grow is zinnias. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have, I think I have like, I don't know, over 40 varieties of flowers wow. here. So, and I start most of them from seed. Um, is there anything else or any advice that you would have um, for someone? And I would say, you know, we, we would love to see more younger folks gardening and, and sort of getting into whole foods and understanding that, that chain of where your food comes from. What advice would you offer someone um, our age to maybe give it a shot? Um, start small. Start with a few pots, start with herbs, start with flowers, um, or even like pepper plants do really well in pots. Tomatoes, I feel like are hit or miss. I feel like tomatoes can be a lot of work actually, even though they're so common. Um, but you know, start small and if you like it, you're gonna know it and you're, it'll just build on itself. It kind of becomes, it's definitely a passion for me that's just kind of naturally developed. Mm -hmm. So if you could just explain a little bit about how you were able to get everything packed in here so tightly and kind of just the method behind your madness. Okay, well, so there's all these, there's cedar boxes here and then I also have lots of pots. Um, I really like these fabric pots because um, they're reusable. Good and for drainage too, Really I'm great sure. for drainage. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of flowers in these this year. You know, it's just every bed has several different um, types of plants in them. So like this one, I've got jalapenos, peanuts, calendula, tall sea basil, eggplant, and zucchini. Um, the zucchini I planted kind of late because I knew that I could. And something I think a lot of people don't know about gardening is that you can plant successively mm -hmm. throughout the summer and even into mm -hmm. the fall. Um, so you can have a fall garden, late summer garden. Mm -hmm. Like um, peas are a good example. Yeah. You can get that first spring harvest mm -hmm. and then I think I'm going to probably put some more on the ground maybe August yep. and get that, get that late fall. Yep. Um, is there any drawback or anything that you would have done differently or anything that you would have changed in your layout? Um, we may actually end up changing some of the layout because these two 4x4 boxes we started with are actually kind of breaking down. Overall, I feel really good about the use of space. Um, sometimes my partner Josh is like, why don't we plant more vegetables up where the flowers are? And I'm like, no, that is the flower bed. <laughs> <laughs> it must stay the flower bed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, I mean, every year what's in each box kind of changes, but overall I feel really good about the use of space and how I can cram everything in. Another eye-catching uh, portion of your garden are your flowers here. So tell us what these are. So these are mostly zinnias here and some sunflowers. Um, behind there I've got some celosia and straw flower. Um, 
and gumfrina. So there's a, those are all types of cut flowers. Um, so just for making uh, flower arrangements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that you guys have built or repurposed or some sort of, you know, it's not everything, everything doesn't have to be store bought and it doesn't have to be terribly expensive. I think right. that's another thing that kind of keeps people away. Yeah. You can build things from what you've got at home. Yep. I had some bamboo sticks and uh, some string and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a support today. You yep. know, and it works, Yep. it works. Definitely. So, well, thank you so much for letting us stop by. This is, this is all great and hopefully it inspired somebody out there uh, who, you know, if you don't have a lot of space, you can still make that work. Roxanne mm -hmm. definitely proves that. So um, if you've got a garden or you know someone who's got a garden that we should see, send us an email and maybe we'll come check it out. But uh, for today, we want to thank Roxanne for letting us come out and we'll see you next time. Thank you.